Friends, in this video, we will see how to generate a dam raster from Google Earth Pro. If you want to extract dam for this area, in many video, it will they will show that you have to create a line, and you have to scribble many times. It, more the density of these points, the better dam you will be finding. But in this case, you have to create many points. You have to scribble it many times, and then it will not extract the pixel by pixel elevation. But you have to create a teen and then dam. So a better way is to first get a grid of the resolution you want. Like suppose I want a 30 meter resolution for this area. First I will create a grid that is fishnet of 30 meter resolution. And then for each pixel we will be extracting the elevation from the Google Earth. So for that first you go to toolbox and then go to this one. data management tool and then sampling and create fishnet here you give the template extent as your area of interest and then cell width you have to define suppose you want 30 meter to 30 meter before that make sure that your save file is in projection system so in this case it is in utm so you want 30 meter by 30 meter resolution and then create the output suppose I am naming it as a grid 30 here you have to make sure that this box is checked create level points and you, you create the polygon and then click OK so these are your grid points we don't need this grid 30 we need this grid 30 level so you see these are all 30 meter resolution means uh, for every 30 meter one grid is generated and in the center these points are there so now we can use as such these points also but it's always better to create a line from these points because that line size will be smaller than this grid size so create a line to go to data management tool then features and then point to line So we need this grid level and we will create a line suppose 30 and then click OK. So this is the line created. Now you have to convert it to a KML file. So go to conversion tools then to KML layer to KML so we need this line 30 as input and just I am naming it as suppose KML 30 and click OK now we have to go to GPS visualizer Google it as GPS visualizer here you will find the first one gps www.gpsvisualizer.com here you should click on elevation database or if you are clicking here you have to go to see this one new dem files elevation data here you just get your kml file we have just created that kml 30 this one kml 30 and output you have to select a gpx file and then just you have to click on convert and add elevation so it will add on each each point that 30 meter point you will you will get one elevation from google earth once extracted it will show the file to download that file you have to download so it has extracted elevation data for each point so just you have to click here to download it so now we will see the downloaded file this one is the file downloaded gpx now again you have to go to ArcGIS here you go to con conversion tool from GPS GPX to features so we'll get this so you have to select this GPX file as input and then 
the output file as suppose elevation elevation points 30 then click ok now you see for every 30 meter one point is there and in that you will find the elevation extracted now you have to go to convert it to raster so you go to conversion tool then to raster and point to raster here give these elevation points and value field we have to give as elevation now you save this like I am naming it as Google Earth 30 meter dot tip now cell size give as 30 and click ok so now see this is your 30 meter resolution time extracted from Google Earth this one for reference I am also having this 30 meter SRTM data downloaded from Earth Explorer. So see the variations from Google Earth we have 257 to 329 and for from original SRTM data it is 255 to 330. So range are almost similar but a smoothness you will find that in smoother elevation. So similarly we can create also for 10 meter using the same steps only difference will be that while defining the grid in the first first step uh, here in the data management tool features sorry sampling and create fish net here the cell width you have to give 10 meter if you want 5 meter that also you can do so I will show a 10 meter resolution data created from Google Earth this one so this is the 10 meter resolution this is this is 10 meter this is so this is 30 meter now this is 10 meter from Google Earth so the range are similar this is how we can create digital elevation model raster from Google Earth. You may have a smoother dem from Google Earth. Thank you for watching.